guys, Bernie Heavy here. I just made a 45-minute commentary on what I think about the NHL and the playoffs, and I realized it was stupid. Much too long, no one's going to watch it, and it's boring. So I'm remaking it. Look at the playoff system. I don't think it's going to end the way it looks right now, but it very well might. Uh, Detroit has reclaimed the 8th seed. And both Detroit and Columbus have two games left, which is interesting. A bit of shuffling. Rangers still have the eighth. And everything else is the same in the east. And the west looks the same as well. So let's look at the matchups. If the playoffs ended today, if the season ended today, it'd be Pittsburgh, New York, Boston, Ottawa, Washington, New York, and Montreal, Toronto. A lot of people want Montreal, Toronto. So I'm just going to keep it for ease at the way it is now, even though I think Winnipeg might sneak in. I want them to, and it probably won't happen. And there might be some shuffling beyond it, but let's just do it for ease. Pittsburgh, New York. Pittsburgh, Ottawa. Pittsburgh, Winnipeg. Doesn't matter. They're playing the who's going to lose to Pittsburgh in the first round sweepstakes. And whoever gets the seven is playing who's going to lose to Boston or Montreal sweepstakes. It doesn't matter. It's not going to happen. Right now, the Eastern Conference is four strong. Okay, there are four teams who have a legitimate shot. And even that's a stretch. Washington's hot, so I'm giving them a shot. But they really don't. They might upset somebody. They might upset Boston or Montreal, but it's not going to happen. Toronto is going to have a great atmosphere. First round is going to be a great matchup. They hate Montreal. Montreal's too strong for Toronto. The Islanders are happy to be there. They might upset Washington, but they probably won't. Ottawa doesn't have a chance against Boston or Montreal. And the Rangers and Winnipeg, don't, no one has a shot against Pittsburgh, let's be honest. So, a bunch of different angling around. Who's going to be in the Eastern Conference Finals? Who cares how you get there? I think New York might upset Washington. I think Ottawa doesn't really have a shot at anything, although they play great D. They do play great D. They've only given up 99 goals. That is tops in the NHL. Yes. No, that's second in the NHL against... Chicago, two more than Chicago. I don't think that there's no chance. I think the Eastern Conference Finals will come down to um, whoever gets the second seed. Is it going to be Boston or is it going to be Montreal? I think whoever gets that home ice is going to get it. Um, first round, Pittsburgh will get Montreal or Pittsburgh will get Boston. Whoever avoids that, that's in all likelihood, unless New York manages to upset um, Washington. I don't see Ottawa, New York, or Winnipeg winning in the first round. I don't see that happening. It's a weak bottom because of the short season. The teams who are, would be considered late bloomers, like Philadelphia, Carolina, New Jersey, they're not in the playoffs, which they normally would. Those are the teams who upset people. Those are the Phoenix Coyotes and uh, Los Angeles Kings of the world. We don't have those this year. It's very top-heavy in the playoffs. That's just the fact of this season. But I see it being Pittsburgh-Montreal. The more I look at it, I see Pittsburgh-Montreal in the Eastern Conference Finals, but I see Pittsburgh winning it, and winning it handedly, likely in four or five. Just because Pittsburgh is worlds ahead of everyone else in the Eastern Conference. Um, the Islanders have had Pittsburgh's number in the past, but the one team the Penguins have managed to struggle against isn't in the playoffs. They've struggled against Buffalo, and they're not in the playoffs. There's no one standing in Pittsburgh's way in the East. The Rangers don't score enough. Ottawa plays great defense. Doesn't matter against an offense like the Penguins. The Islanders... Thorn on the side, but Pittsburgh is taking care of business against them. Toronto, no. Montreal, maybe, but no. Washington, again, maybe, but no. Boston, again, maybe, but no. No one in Pittsburgh is going to the Stanley Cup this year. I can guarantee it. Um, going to the West, again, it's very top heavy. You know, Vancouver might upset some people. Uh, Detroit, too old, Minnesota too inexperienced, St. Louis too, eh. Los Angeles too reliant on quick. It's Chicago and Anaheim in that conference, and whoever 
wins out that slugfest is going to win it. Um, I think that's what it's going to be. I think it's going to be a 1v2 for the finals in both sides. Simply because, again, there's no good bottom feeders. You know, the skill, the, the difference between one and four this year because of the short season is, is almost 15 points. You know, it's even bigger in the East. No, it's not. It's smaller in the East. But one, the, one, but the comparison between one and three is even bigger in the East. It's just... The, the difference is too much skill. Plus, with this trade deadline, with how many people Pittsburgh picked up, Boston had some good pickups with Yager. Chicago had some good pickups. There's a ton of sellers this season. The top is way too hot, way too good. These bottoms don't have a chance. Do I want to see an upset? Do I want to see Detroit or Columbus beat Chicago? Yes. Do I want to see Minnesota or St. Louis beat Anaheim? Yes. Do I think it will happen? No. I think, I honestly have a feeling Anaheim will get the better of Chicago. I do think that. But I don't think Anaheim has much of a shot against the, um, the Penguins. I don't. Okay. So, it's gonna be. I think it's going to be Pittsburgh-Anaheim in the Stanley Cup Finals. And I think Pittsburgh is going to win it in five. It's going to be a quick playoffs for the Penguins. I see them playing in less than 20 games. You need 16 to win the Cup. I see them going 16-4. and four, Tearing through the playoffs. No. But other news. MVP, who's going to win it? Who is going to win it? Crosby? Malkin? Quick? Toes? Kane? The young kid from New York? Ovechkin? I think it's going to be Crosby. Remember goals he scored and how few games he played? And the fact that he's the best player on the best team with all those really good players and the fact that he makes... All the players around him better. Pascal Dupuis is a second or third liner without him. With him, he's one of the better wingers in the game. So I just think Crosby has to win the MVP. It's there for him. But if someone like Ovechkin or Quick won it, I wouldn't be heartbroken. Well, I would be sad because I think Crosby deserves it. But I could understand that. Um, scoring title is going to go to um, is going to go to St. Louis. I had said earlier it might go to Stamkos, but St. Louis just scored a. Uh, Hat trick and beat the Leafs. Ooh, that's not good for Toronto. It's morale. But I, St. Louis hat trick, I think, puts them over Stamkos. Um, that's not what I want. But I think I think it puts it o- him over. Um, so I think St. Louis is going to win the uh, scoring title. Um, top goalie in the league. Quick. It's the only reason Los Angeles is in the playoff picture. If we're being honest. You know? And with that loss, they're in the fifth seed. They're dropping. They might get passed up by St. Louis. Quick is the only reason Los Angeles is in the playoff picture. But uh, who's going to win the Conn Smythe? You can't tell that. You can't do a preseason Conn Smythe. You can't start thinking about the Conn Smythe until the Stanley Cup Finals. Until you've seen the performances. And even then, you know, Malkin had an eh. Playoffs the year the Penguins won the Cup. We had a great finals, so he won the Conn Smythe. So, I think Conn Smythe, wait till it happens. That's when you worry about it. Uh, the picture, you might be wondering why it's Craig Adams, of all people. I own a Craig Adams jersey. I think he's my favorite player. I think he's a great, great player. He personifies hockey. Um, he's a grinder, which no one really cares about grinders. Plus, this picture is him fighting Scotty Hartnell. Fuck Scotty Hartnell. Terrible human being. If you're a Flyers fan, fuck you. Um, fuck the Flyers. Um, and just fuck the Flyers. But <laughs> I couldn't go through a hockey video without saying fuck the Flyers. But like if you enjoyed. Favorite. Subscribe. And all that great stuff. And leave a comment on what you think. You know, Do you think the Islanders are going to upset someone? I think uh, Toronto might make a push. I think Boston is going to go crazy. Who do you think, who do you think is going to win the Northeast? Boston? Montreal? It's not clinched yet.
Boston has a slight edge in games. Is Toronto still in it? So they would, Toronto's still in it. Mathematically. If they have the tiebreaker. Which I don't think they do. But who's going to win it? Who's going to get the four? Who's going to get the eight? Who's playing the lose to Pittsburgh sweepstakes? Let me know what you think. So this has been Bernie Heavy, and as always, have a wonderful day.